check for advanced restart button it's available in this room go to direct to recovery you can reboot to recovery using this method or else follow the traditional method of pressing volume up button and power button to boot into recovery this is the latest AWRP available for POCO XC go to wipe and select here advanced wipe and select Dalvik catch and data and swipe here to wipe it and go to home section and select here install and select the micro SD card and wherever you download the files you can select here first flash the firmware as usual 12.5.5.0 Surya Global flash it done go to home section and again select install and select here roms i mean rom zip file spark 12.1 unofficial surya gapps zip flash it it takes a little bit of time wait until it is get flashed and you can see here spark version 12.1 android version 12 in 2022 fifth time in is it a march security patch i don't know okay it's february security patch and this is the latest build available for poco x3 you can see here wait until it gets flashed as you can see rom zip file has been flashed successfully go to home again and select here wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button done go to home section here again select reboot and select the system this is how the flashing method step by step i have explained neatly follow the same thing you will never get any problems use the same twrp download the files properly then you won't get any problem and it's booting into spark os 12.1 and in this video i am going to explain about bgma gameplay bugs features and what all the benchmark results and cpu throttling test everything will be explained straight on till the end of the video and it's booted into spark OS. let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video guys this is sampath you are watching sample some of x poco xc custom rom reviews and this spark OS. 12.1 unofficial for Surya 2022-310 I mean the 10th March latest available build JF's version if you want you can use vanilla OS also and Android version 12 5th February 2022 security patch and kernel use there is 4.14.246 it's also latest March 9th kernel and Linux status is enforcing you can see the build number and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 5 minutes the minimum was 89 and average was 139 and maximum was 153 it has throttled to 88% of its maximum performance not just this the benchmark results are also not that great coming to anti benchmark results on this POCO X after Spark OS you can see a 2,86,149 and temperature raise was just 0.2 degrees celsius and 2% battery has been dropped during this testing that's not great score and even the Geekbench score went to that history 377 single score and multi score is 1171 and the kernel used here is Linux 4.14.246 R64 has been used here the scores are normal and here you go you get widgets and 12 widgets and this the quick settings panel into the power button you get advanced restart button also and into edit section you get plenty of options here you can see here and into quick settings let's see screen recording feature you get device audio and microphone options are present in this ROM coming to dialer and many people asking about this like show me the actual video call will it work or not i tested it it definitely works on my smartphone after this spark OS or any other roms as you can see there is a direct video call feature is available here and there is no call recording feature the direct video call feature is working fine here why you are asking again and again i don't know and google photos unlimited storage is available i will tell at the end of the video i haven't seen it okay and coming to camera application you get this something basic camera i haven't found any settings here to find it out you won't get any ultra wide angle support here in this camera application but good thing is you get video recording up to 4k ultra hd as you can see and basic photos and videos you can use this camera application which is pre-installed with this rom if you don't want that you can use this 
camera application i mean arnova latest build available for poco x here wide angle also works fine both in video as well as camera you can see here that's the camera application i am using from long time for poco x any other custom roms and coming to home settings you get basic these settings into journal general you get all these basic things ascent color you can choose a font icons themed icons icon pack notification dots you need to enable that change settings launcher enable that then you will get the notification dots that's how it is and icon packs you can manually install them that's fine auto adaptive icons and app drawer you can change plenty of customization available into dock also there are customization and folders after our recent about launcher toll has been used as a pre-installed launcher and widgets as you can see here it's working fine and coming to wallpapers no it wasn't the live wallpapers complete action wallpapers and style yes there are plenty of wallpapers pre-installed here and a toll style that's how it is it's working fine coming to speed test in this room i have using the geo giga fiber connection 100 mbps plan it's pulling up to 90 to 95 which is not a problem even with mobile data also the internet connection working fine and 4g plus icon i mean 4g plus carrier aggregation support is available no problem and there is no problem in earpiece also during calls and video call is working fine again i am telling that's fine in my case and coming to drm info here in this particular ROM, you get L1 support. I mean, in this Park OS, you can watch all the audit applications in HD resolution. Coming to safety net status, it's an unofficial build. Let's see whether it get passed or not. Yeah, fortunately, it get passed. You can use all the payment applications and WhatsApp. Everything will be working fine in this ROM. No problem regarding that. I hope I explained every app here. Okay, let's go into settings and see what all the settings we get under the fireworks you get lots of customization theme loss in status bar gestures misc and power menu into power menu this is how advanced restart button and some of the options you can add in the quick settings and misc settings you get game space if you enable this dynamic mode all the basic things in any particular rom these all the things been added that's still there here Toast app icons show CPU information, scheme of animation, toast information, and vibrate on connect call waiting disconnect. You can enable or disable from here. Battery light notification light are given. Coming into gestures, tap to wake, tap to sleep, brightness control, and volume, rocker wave music control, reorient keyboard, cursor control, volume steps. You can enable or disable some of these settings. You can see here toggle torch when screen off also is there this are the gesture settings you get in this particular rom for poco x show 4g instead of lte you can enable this and volte icon you can increase or decrease those things and use old style mobile data icons colored status bar icons comment signal icons carrier label also you can see here there are options again in inside that and battery style also you can choose your print of options are here and you can even choose whether it has to come before the icon or after the icon you can choose from here simple customizations are available not as many as in the previous video which was evolution x and if i haven't watched it go and watch it it has much better compared to previous version and it has more customization and bgm also unlocked i hope you already watched that and in the lock screen settings always on display schedule is given you can schedule it out charging animation charging information fingerprint authentication vibration and error vibration you can enable or disable from here and show media art is also given media art blur level is also given here into themes you get monet engine use black theme that's my favorite at least they have they should give this option or at least they give presets to dark theme white luminous chroma factor you can adjust them extra themes and fonts you can adjust from here these are the settings and customization available on this spark os into some other settings like in the display you get all the basic settings dark theme if enable like that and i already enabled a force dark theme and there is a options here which is very good you can choose here pitch black condition is available if you don't get that you can use this baked green system i don't like it it's fine with pitch black condition itself as you can see into 
settings and app drawer everything is now in pitch black condition that's really good and display let me turn this off all the basic settings are included in this room like night light feature also you can enable or disable and even you can intensity i mean you can schedule it out and even you can increase or decrease the intensity of the night light feature minimum refresh rate maximum refresh rate is also given the video is going interesting isn't it go and hit that subscribe button down below guys red color even it will become even more interesting and wake on plug is given this is all the display settings into sound settings you get all the basic settings screenshot sound per app volume control is also available which is nice thing touch vibration haptic feedback you can enable or disable and some of the haptic patterns are also given dzz dzda it changes depends upon what you choose it's fine having customization in vibration also really good into notification you get all the basic settings and answer notifications are also given apps you can choose the default apps from here that's how it is let's see whether the accessibility menu is given or not in this room it's there yeah it's there you can use this this is an handy feature in and at all just toggle this use the volume down and volume up brightness down and here and there and you can even lock the screen and use the recent apps this how the particular rom settings and let's see the bgm gameplay location is also working fine no problem regarding that into system into the gesture system navigation here you get options to increase the gesture navigation bar and radius very good having this feature it would be better in my opinion that's fine let's see the bgm gameplay how it handles in this particular spark os let's jump into boot camp and graphic settings you get smooth plus ultra only as you can see and hd plus high nothing great here do i want to continue like this boot camp videos or previously i was making just tdm videos do comment down below whichever you want i will make that lots of people coming here i'll take this side it was laggy obviously many people are around me not that laggy also it's still playable okay just a miss this how the bgm gameplay in this particular spark os let me show you the charging animation Wait, just recognizing face. I don't know. Should see. okay. <laughs> the face unlock is very quick. As you can see, it's unlocking very quick. Let me hold that. Okay, you can now see the charging information. I'm using this 33 watt cable. It's working fine. Turbo charging, I mean fast charging is working fine in this room. No problem regarding that. And face unlock was very, very quick in my opinion. As you can see, it's very fast. And that's all guys in this video. I hope I explained everything. This is how the Spark OS on this Poco X with 12.1 based on Android 12. Let's see the CPU throttling test. Whether it is it in memory or not. No, it's booted out of the memory in very rare roms we see that and that's how it is and thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now